We're gonna be talking about gym etiquette. It's gonna be great. Who the hell is taking their shirt off in the gym? I do have a rule about going shirtless at the gym. Uh, stop it. Keep your clothes on. You don't need to be out here chest naked. No shoes, no shirt, no service. Get out, man. But if that's something you want to do, that just gives me a distraction to laugh at you. And then you probably don't even wipe the back of the seat. I don't want your sweaty sweat. Your parents should have taught you better. Hmm? Yeah, I think it's totally fine. I feel like if you're not grunting, you ain't trying to fail. And that's the whole point of being in the gym. You gotta grunt like You know, you gotta get like that real guttural, deep. I, I can't stand it. Do it, but I hate it. It's almost like watching wrestling in the 80s. You know what I mean? It's like the deeper your voice is and the more you grunt, the more powerful you are. I also think it is a sign of low intelligence. So don't do it. Every yoga class I do is a horror story. I'm always in the back, but they have mirrors so they can see you. I need everybody gone. You know, I'm doing splits and then they're getting too close to looking at me too much, I don't like it. This woman in front of me was feeling very comfortable and she farted, like, whoa, it's okay. Like my nose was maybe, it wasn't this close, but it was probably like this close. I started coughing and then spit up and then like had to like, crawl out of the class. And I don't like people next to me like that at the gym. I was trying to spin, it was one of my first classes, and I just couldn't really find the rhythm, and all of a sudden, it felt like I was kind of distracting from this class, trying to figure out my whole soul cycle situation. I didn't go back in, I left my mat, it's still there. <laughs> don't tell her she looked good, don't ask her about her workout. <laughs> Girls do not like when you're staring at them at the gym. Uh, she not stupid, we stupid. Everybody wants to work out in peace, so don't interrupt that. You need to be smelling good when you're in the gym, even if you're sweating. You know, some people are like, well, I'm, you know, I'm gonna show afterwards, so what's the point? Just, the point is so you don't anger me while you're next to me doing shoulder presses. I don't want the, the scent to hit me like that. Put some deodorant on, lather in that shit. I love my body, all right? But uh, LeBron James, that'd be nice to have his because he's very durable. Kai Green, just because the dude is 320 pounds of just solid muscle, I'd be a Viking. Nobody, nobody. Colin Kaepernick in his prime. That's a part of the gym, it's like you could add a, a tricep, you could add a, a trap, you can create the body that you want to create if you hit the gym appropriately. <laughs> This has been proper gym etiquette for all the lovely people of GQ. Once again, those are my rules. You do not have to follow them, but I would appreciate if you do. Because we're real serious at the gym. But don't be too serious, because nobody likes that person either. You know what I'm saying?